Pisces, this is going to be your reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind guys, energy moves and flows. This could be your energy, the person you are dealing with or the person you have in mind or a mix of both. But it cannot and will not resonate with every Pisces watching this video. Time is fluid as you know, this could have happened, is happening or will happen. If this does not resonate with your situation, don't force it alright. Take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Pisces. Wow, I love that. I get so excited when I see the two of cups. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. All right, you could be dealing with an air sign or you could have air in your birth chart. All right. If this is you, Pisces, you are not fucking around you are in no mood to play around okay either you have cut off someone or someone has cut you off this is someone who does not tolerate any bullshit does she's a very no-nonsense person she doesn't like bullshit and she is definitely not playing all right so this could be someone's cut off or you cut off someone well, looking at your first card, we have the Four of Swords. This is more air energy. First, Libra, Gemini. Either you're taking a break for some, from someone or someone's taking a break from you. The very strong chances that there is no communication, okay? So probably during this no communication, you are taking a break. You are meditating. You're trying to go with it. This is not really hermetic, but this is more like doing your own thing, but still taking a break, not talking and trying to see where things are going, okay? Either you are on a break, the opposite person is on the break, or both of you, okay? But I don't see any communication happening for now. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who is, uh, probably there was someone who was holding back, all right? This could be holding back communication or holding back um, something that was not healthy for them. Someone is letting go of something, okay? They're open to talking. I have a feeling this is someone who is open to talking and this is someone who is letting go of what they were holding on to very tight. It could be ego, it could be uh, pride, it could be anything, okay? Whatever it is, someone's releasing this off. Pisces, this is your card. We have the moon, but we have the moon in reverse. All right. So this is some secrets that was something that was hidden is coming out in the open. This could be releasing fear, releasing anxiety. This could be anything that was not clear to you. This is clarity coming in. Okay. And guess what's coming in? What's the clarity? The clarity is the two of cups. Or this is soulmate energy, guys. This is you and someone else who knows that you're their soulmate. This is someone who knows that they love you, you love them, and this is a union, all right? So if, if I can see, probably you took a break, you cut this person off, like we see, the bottom of the deck, you cut this person off. Either you both cut each other off, this was a breakup, whatever this was, you both took a break or the person took a break. Then they realized they were holding back communication, they were ready to open up, they're ready to talk, they're not defensive anymore, they're opening up, they're opening ready to open their heart. Maybe they were closed off, this could be someone who was closed off emotionally to you, very cold. Releasing fear, releasing anxiety, they gained some clarity, something that was unclear to them, they finally gained the clarity. And you know what the clarity is? It's the two of cups. Oh my god. So yeah, this is a couple. This is someone in love. This is someone who probably wants to come in and tell you how much they love you. Alright, more messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For the second half of December. Pisces in love. Pisces in love. Second half of December, please. Spirit guides and angels. Pisces in love. Second half of December, please. Pisces in love, second half of December, please. Messages for Pisces in love, second half of December, 2019. Pisces in love, second half of December, 2019. Too many cards. <laughs> Pisces in love, second half of December. Last bottom of the deck we have the page of swords in reverse like i said okay it was very very evident that there is no communication either there are some mind games going on okay very very prominent air energy around i can see a lot of air out here actually i can see only air and a little bit of earth okay so this is someone who's playing mind games or this is someone who's just all talk and no action all right this is someone who probably just um it's just not talking, okay? This could be someone very, very rude, but you could also be dealing with a very, very immature person or someone who's very immature in communication. 
all right we have the high priestess okay this is a uh, cancer or this could also be pisces this is you who is trusting your intuition okay maybe you trusted your intuition you're listening to yourself you trusted your gut and you 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 probably even knew that this was coming you probably knew you had faith in the universe you had faith in yourself you trusted your intuition and that's when the two of cups is coming in okay either you were this or this is the person who's trusting that trusting their intuition and they want to come in we have the king of swords in reverse right under the four of pentacles in reverse so there are very strong chances that the person who is holding back from you they could be holding pride communication and this is the king of swords in reverse okay this guy he is um he could be uh, he, he could be very very manipulative he could be a liar he could be a cheater he could be someone he's extremely cold extremely detached all right so whoever this person is okay they're 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 letting go they're letting go of uh, whatever they're holding back. They're letting go of their pride because they love you. They're coming towards you. This could also be you doing to the opposite person. But this person called detached, not communicative, or they could just be like, just absolutely manipulative, okay? Trying to do things which uh, make them, um, I mean, this is probably someone who would rather not have the truth outside, but uh, not have themselves in an uncomfortable position. So they'd just rather just manipulate people. All right. Um... We have the five of swords in reverse. This is more air energy. Like I said, okay, this is someone, this could be an argument or this could be some topic, okay, between you and the other person that you're dealing with where both of you knew that you're going to lose. This is a no-win situation. Neither are you winning, neither is this person winning, okay? You both knew this, all right? So that's why probably this could have gone on for a very long time and finally someone is putting down their swords, okay? Someone's putting down their swords and they don't want to fight anymore because they know that it's getting nowhere, all right? This could be someone who's very, very stubborn, all right? This could be someone very prideful, very egoistic. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, more air energy. This is probably uh, the worst that could have happened. If you have gone through a breakup, if you've gone through a separation, if there's something, divorce, whatever happened, it happened, it's done, it's over. The worst is over, all right? And now, uh, there is someone who wants to revive this relationship, okay? They want to get all the swords out, okay? It's in the reverse, okay? This is someone who after the entire breakup, after the separation, after that meditation is done, They've, they've gone within, they've taken some time out, they have no communication, you gave them time, You they, they gave you time, which is a very good thing. They're letting go of whatever they were holding back, could be communication, could be ego, could be pride, could be anything. They've gained clarity about them, they've gained clarity about what they want, and what they want is the two of cups. They want to be, they want to be with you, they love you. They're trusting their intuition or you always trusted your intuition and that's why probably even you were also in, in also the four of swords mode because you know that they're coming back this person was cold and detached in the past but now they want to come out of conflict with you okay they want to come out of conflict with you they don't want to do this they don't want to fight this anymore and all they want is the two of cups with you okay so it's coming in Alright Pisces, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. Please like, share, subscribe and um, I'd love to see your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.